Beautiful Aries, this is Tammy with Spot on Psychic Readings and Chippy. <laughs> I'm coming in with your weekly reading today and I can't wait to see what's coming up. The energy feels amazing today and um, I'm really curious to see what's coming. So I'm going to give Chippy his cookie, let him take a nap, <laughs> and let's see what's coming, Aries. I have already pre-shuffled, so let's just see what's happening, Aries, okay? I like to pull these by feel for you um, because I get additional meaning in that way. Feel the energy. You know, I'm an empath, so I pick up um, whoever's watching your collective vibes, you know, as you're watching. So, and I somehow am able to zoom forward um, because you may not see this for a few hours um, or sometimes the next morning, depending on how slow my Wi Fi decides to be. And, um, and yet, I'm tuning into you then, so I'm not sure how that happens. But anyway, it's nice to tune in with you. <laughs> so let's see what's coming here, Aries. I, some of the psychic stuff just, I don't know, you just can't explain it. What can I say? I just have to trust the process. So Aries, let's see, lots of energy. These cards are just spread out exactly. <laughs> Almost exactly. Okay. And by the way, thank you all so much for all of your um, views of watching the channel. It's amazing what a huge Aries nation that we have here. So I'm really glad to have you. Welcome if it's your first time here and thanks for subscribing if you haven't. And also those of you that sent me super chat thanks and cash app donations, wow. Thank you all so much. And some of you sent money to Chippy, so take Chippy shopping. <laughs> it's like so cool. So I do plan to do that soon if the weather would ever straighten out enough to, um, you know, do all that. So I think I'll probably make a little video of that when I do. So anyway, thank you all for contributing to Chippy's happiness and well-being. I know he appreciates it too. <laughs> okay, and Sparky too. Sparky's in the other room today. Um, let's see. All right, let's see what's coming Aries for you. This is interesting. Wow. <clears throat> you know what I'm liking best, what jumps out at me first about this reading is the devil card, but the devil card is reversed and it's going into the past. It's in the past position. Finally, finally Aries. And I don't see your Five of Swords card. It's <laughs> a good start, right? This actually looks like a pretty good reading. I think you're going to like this. And no wonder I was feeling such a good, positive energy when I came in here to sit down and do your reading. So there we go. I want to just tell you some of this negative energy. It's been following you guys. It's showing up right here. It's moving into the past. And it's right beside of King of Swords, who can be um somebody who's not very heart centered and all that he's moving into the past too so we'll get to that what's most significant aries for you this week and probably you know through the rest of the month actually is this card of self-sufficiency nine of pentacles really happy card of having your material wealth maybe really liking where you live maybe you bought a new house or something where you fixed your house up something about really liking the energy around yourself. Maybe you're just enjoying your solitude, enjoying your pets, enjoying being where you are, enjoying springtime. You can see there are lots of green and flowers um, coming up around this Nine of Pentacles person, okay? That's representing you, what's really significant right now for many of you. Now keep in mind, Aries, this is a collective reading, so it won't resonate with everybody. You know, it can't. Not every card can fit every person in their situation every single time okay so you know but feel free to switch up the roles um you know it like for instance this is a you know feminine on this card but this could be you a masculine so you know it's up to you to switch the roles and adapt it you know to how it fits for you in a collective reading okay you all got you all know that but in case you're new okay so here's what's gonna create a real challenge for you, some kind of message coming in. I can't wait to see what this is, Aries. There's a message coming in. This should be happy message, so I'm not sure why it creates a little bit of a challenge, but we'll find out. Now, what's in your energy at this time is you might be feeling a little bit blocked with a new path, like you wanna go down a new path. You might be feeling like you're in a little bit of a state of limbo 
at this time, but it's in your mind. You're like, I know I want a new path. I want, know I want to get out of here. And I'm kind of liking what I'm doing. I might be feeling a little lonely. That's kind of the vibe I get from this so far. And I already talked about the devil going into the past and this King of Swords energy right next to the devil. So King of Swords could be a Capricorn. He's usually an air sign energy though. And King of Swords is somebody very intelligent, but for some reason he's moving into the past. We'll find out. I'll do some clarification, okay? So Aries, coming up in your near future, attraction, look at this, you've got Ace of Cups in your immediate future. So this could be coming up this week, um, over the next couple of weeks, you know, soon. This is in your immediate future. And in your more extended future, you're seeing your ships coming in, okay? Here we've got this Three of Wands energy. This can be waiting for your ships to come in, but you're seeing them on the horizon. There they are. So there's definitely, um, your ship might be new attraction, new love. It could be opportunities you will love, you know. Um, these two work together. This is your more extended future. This is your immediate future. So in your immediate future, I think you can look for um, some kind of a message potentially as shown in this page of wands about love, okay? Interesting, looks fun and promising, right? Okay, so other people are seeing you right now as this energy right here, Aries. Some, of, some people are kind of seeing you like you're a um, Queen of Cups energy, but, but reversed. So um, they might be seeing you as very emotional or very much in tune with your heart or very, very intuitive and maybe almost too much so in those categories with her being reversed. You might be also dealing with somebody who has addictions or is overly um, emotional or that kind of thing, okay? And it's right next to this page of pentacles. So this could be somebody, um, this could be how somebody's seeing you or somebody you're dealing with, how you're seeing them, okay? This could be a student or somebody younger, this queen of um, cups energy. Could be somebody younger who's very emotional or very up and down, um, maybe has addictions or dealing with some kind of codependency kind of issues. This could be somebody who's a student, somebody who's learning something. These could go together or they might be different things for different people. Okay, so keep that in mind, it's a collective reading. When two cards come up in one position, a lot of times they clarify each other, but a lot of times it's like, this is you, the student, but this has nothing to do with you or vice versa, okay? So when we go over here, we've got um, something's going to be clarified for you. This is the Seven of Cups. It came up reversed, which is a good thing in this case. And it's having to do with, um, if you weren't able to see your path clearly before, you will be. I feel like the fog is clearing, you know, like the sun is out, <laughs> literally. So um, it's right next to this Ace of Wands energy. Look at the fire in this person's hands, in these hands that are showing up. This is you, Aries. This is so you, <laughs> okay? This fire energy in your hands, literally um, lighting up what you want. This is the card of new beginnings, okay? Passionate passionate new beginnings about what you want and there's something here about you kind of want that you're kind of afraid of that at the same time <laughs> hopes and fears okay now your final outcome i think you might like this at least some of you there might be new love on the on the horizon for you aries here's the lover's card this is your final outcome now we went from um the ace of cups which is new attraction kind of new feelings little stirring of the heart to full-on lover's card okay as a final outcome so in your near future and as a final outcome so some of you getting in a new relationship lover's card can have to do with um, making a choice between two people <clears throat> excuse me it can have to do with um, choices in general but I think it's love based on what I'm seeing here for a lot of you and it can have to do with marriage or engagements you know going to the next level in whatever way okay so let's go over here and let's do a little clarification on, where do we want to start? Let's do some clarification on King of Swords and why is King of Swords, or could be Queen of Swords for some of you, why is, why is that Swords person going into the past, okay? What does that mean? Who's that? Who's that? That is somebody who's very strong. Now this could be a Leo energy okay and also I meant to mention with the lovers card this can be a Gemini energy as well okay so this um, 
King of Swords, this is something, somebody very strong. Oh, this one popped up. Um, here we've got the, um, hold on. <laughs> here we've got oh, the Four of Swords. So there's something about taking a break from this person or this person is withdrawing to take a break. This could be you or somebody you've been dealing with, Aries, okay? Um, but it's somebody who's very strong and it's somebody who's just over it. <laughs> somebody who's just like, I am so pulling back and taking a break from that. I just need a break from it. Anything else about King of Swords? Do you see how those cards got all jammed and blocked? Like, almost like King of Swords doesn't want me to look into him or her, okay? Yeah, um, there's something about the chariot. I feel like this person moved on, Aries. So whether this is you or your person, your past person, um, this person moved on with this chariot card. This person is like, I'm rushing out of this situation. And either they're taking their toxic energy with them or they're going away from toxic energy. Whatever it means, this toxic energy is leaving your life. Let's look into that a little bit. Let's ask about that. Why is the devil reversed in the past? Which is a very, very good thing. <laughs> I am very glad to see that for you. Oh, that could have been um, a love offer. Yeah. All of that could have been a love offer that was too good to be true. Now moving into your past. Somebody undependable. Somebody who is maybe deceptive or manipulative or something like that. Or it could have just been a love offer straight on that just didn't work out. But it does come up next to toxic energy. And here's a Knight of Wands too. So we've got... You may have had some sort of a love offer from somebody very passionate with this Knight of Wands energy or somebody from afar. And I feel like all that sort of moving into the past, you might have found out there was toxic energy with that person. Or maybe that person was not heart-centered enough. The, the Swords cards are not nurturing heart-centered like the Cups cards are, okay? All right, let's move over to this new beginning. <laughs> All right, enough of the past. So let's go into this um, Ace of Cups coming up for Aries in the immediate future. And seeing your ships coming in. What's the Ace of Cups about? The Ace of Cups is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, Aries. Wow. All right, so it's almost like this new beginning that you're having, that you're going to love, involves financial stability financial grounding you know ten of pentacles is something where you feel a lot of stability in in relationship or in money or both okay yeah look at this whole new beginning this is ace of pentacles right next to ten of pentacles next to ace of cups <laughs> aries seriously like in your near future you're getting it all love and money is coming up here it's amazing like seriously um I gotta be honest, I, I never get stuff that good for Aries because the cards just, you know, it hasn't been there for you until now. I told you a few weeks ago, you guys are turning a corner. So happy for you. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Just take this in for a minute, Aries. Now this is in your new beginnings. This is coming up in your near future. This hasn't gotten there yet. So um, don't leave me comments about, oh, that doesn't apply to me. Nothing ever good ever happens because this is future. These are future cards. This is the stuff that's already happened. The devil, the king of swords, um, taking a break from something, walking away from something. All that stuff's in your past. That's happening now. That's what's moving into your past. This is coming up for you. Okay? So give it a chance to come in. Don't, don't throw it away before it even gets there. Okay? I, I know some of you... You know, I read all your comments. <laughs> and Aries is quick to be like, nothing good ever happens for us. And it's true. You guys have been through the ringer. It is. It's true. You know, I, I'm not denying that at all. I've seen it for the last year that I've been reading for you. And I, I know it's been going on for longer. But um, things are changing. You know, the stars are moving. The planets are moving. Your influences around you are changing. And this is some really good stuff coming in for you, Aries. So... I'm just going to say, try to let it in. You know, my guides keep telling me, focus on love. And they keep telling me to tell my viewers, focus on love. It's so important at this time in particular. It's always important, but it's really important right now for some reason. 
Now I have a lot of other thoughts on that, but that's another video, okay? So just trust me on this. Focus on love and let the love in and it brings in stability, money, all the new beginnings and everything, okay? All right, so let's go over, let's clarify who's the Queen of Cups next to Page of Pentacles. This is a younger woman or a student or maybe you're taking classes. This is how somebody's seeing you. Very emotional, um, upside down Queen of Cups. What's that all about? Let's clarify that for Aries. It's clarified by a slow moving Knight of Pentacles energy, okay? So Knight of Pentacles is usually somebody very warm and trustworthy, usually an earth sign, um, and having to do with stability and money, but slow coming in, really slow. They're sometimes known as the nurturing bee healers, um, this person, okay? And that would go right along with the Queen of Cups energy, okay? And again, she did come up reversed, but not for everybody. You know, Queen of Cups is very nurturing and Knight of Pentacles being the bee healer and loving nature, um, you know, and just slow, steady progress. It's a good thing. And this is how people are seeing you, Aries, at this time and learning new things. You may be finding yourself taking classes or just learning on new subjects or reading new books and things like that. Here's an Ace of Swords. Yeah, so some of you have cut things out that didn't work and that could be making you feel extra sensitive at this time with this paid um, with this Queen of Cups reversed okay the Ace of Swords is also a cloud with the silver lining okay we are definitely seeing that with Aries today there there has been a cloud over you and now you're seeing what why it was there like it's all turning around for you so let's go over here we know about new beginnings this is obvious let's go to lovers let's clarify your final outcome with the lovers card Aries okay why is the lovers what's that about it's about a whole new path a whole new path and the path filled with wisdom you've learned a lot from past relationships and past betrayals and things like that and um, now you're ready for something new is what these cards are saying yeah knight of wands again so there's somebody like riding in on their horse for you <laughs> okay I say that because you know the knight of wands is like somebody rushing in with a lot of passion like your knight shining armor sort of thing or your princess you know I mean it's a big deal it's a big romantic um, archetype you know that I feel coming in with this lover's card knight of wands is often someone from afar someone from a distance or maybe you relocate or that person relocates and that kind of thing and it can also be job relocations as well that bring you that you're having to make choices about or that brings you into this love relationship and here we've got two pinnacles I think you're juggling opportunities you're like um, you know or options even at this time you know maybe you're on like a dating site and you're looking at your different people as far as you know who you want to connect with and things like that here's um four of wands look at this aries this is so good there's something about stability coming in for you and i know for a long time a lot of you've felt a lack of stability you know and this is stability potential marriage with this lover's card you making choices that lead you to this happiness and this can be um, buying a new home putting out roots of some sort some sort of stability with this card right next to the lovers so things are coming together for you aries like in a big way <laughs> in a really big way all right let's go over here and let's see any final words for aries today this is such a good reading for you guys you're gonna have it all soon you really are well, those started to come out and went back in. Let's see what they say. Persevere and you will overcome problems. Here's the camel card. And here's the mule. Someone is um, extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. So take that as it resonates. One of these might be you. Maybe both represent aspects of you or not. Maybe it's somebody you're dealing with, okay? Let's see what else. Wow, these really want to come out too. We've got the sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start. Right next to take care, there might be a loss of material wealth. 
with the shark card, okay? And I feel like that's connected to someone being stubborn and unwilling to change. So make sure if this is you, okay, you know, take a hard look at yourself if this is you. If you're being stubborn about something that's going to cause you harm, like the old expression of cutting off your nose to spite your face <laughs> kind of thing, okay? Um, you can tell I grew up in the South, right? <laughs> so if that's you, seriously, um, you might want to just, you know, think about that, all right? Don't hurt yourself, Aries, if, you're, if that's you. And again, this might be somebody in your life you're dealing with. It could be your king of swords that we saw over here earlier. They want me to switch. Okay, final words here, but there are new creative ideas and ventures and a whole fresh start coming up from you persevering. So there's two different things going on here. Let me just go back for a minute. This could be some of you, Aries. Fresh start, you're persevering, you know, you're getting where you want to go. Some of you might be being in a stubborn mood and, um, you know, hurting yourself in the process of trying to be, quote, right. That's what I'm getting from this unwilling to change you know you're like well I'm right but does being right is that to your advantage in this case does it what is, does it really matter that's all I'm saying I'm just saying look at it okay I'm not lecturing you guys it's just what I'm getting from the guides and the cards so I tell you everything I get for better or worse okay don't get mad at the messenger now I love you guys <laughs> I'm on your side really I am sometimes you guys get mad at me but I'm on your side I like Aries I like Aries a lot. Okay, dog barking. Advice from a friend. That might be me. <laughs> that might be me barking at you right now. Okay. All right, Aries, let's see what else. Anything else? Final words for Aries. Yeah, oh, they're giving me all three of these. Okay, final words for Aries. There's a ring. A marriage will take place either romantic or in business. Okay, so take this as it resonates. See, I told you really good stuff's coming up for you guys. The chain, a chain of events will affect your life. And this could be from either one of these two things that I described. Okay, do you want to be right and stubborn or do you want to persevere and overcome problems and have new creative ideas and ventures and things like that? Okay, and whoops, and the caterpillar. Um, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. You're in that caterpillar um, right now, but you will be a butterfly, okay? Well, Aries, I'm like super excited for you. I'm so charged up right now from this reading. I mean, I'm just, I'm like one big goosebump. I'm really serious. I am one big goosebump right now. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, I, I think it was quite amazing, honestly, amazing reading. Let me know what you think in the comments, okay? I always like your comments. Well, I usually like your comments. <laughs> I delete the ones I don't like. So, okay. All right. You guys take care, and I will see you again soon, okay? Thanks so much. Love you guys. Bye.